The University of Vermont Extension Northwest Crops and Soils team has been growing oilseed crops at the Borderview Research Farm in Alberg, Vermont for five years. Several research plots trialing canola, sunflowers, and soybeans are grown on the farm. We have several different variety trials including sunflowers, winter and spring canola, and soybeans. We are also researching the best time to plant these crops and other agronomic aspects such as fertility and planting rates, as well as best management practices for pests and disease. Heather Darby and her team have secured funding through several agencies to develop a manual for oilseed crop production for the Northeast that will include agronomic information on sunflowers and canola. Soybean yields are generally between 30 and 70 bushels per acre in this region. Soybeans have a relatively low oil content when you compare them to sunflowers or canola and generally only contain about 25% oil. But the benefit to growing soybeans is that there are a number of farmers that already grow soybeans and the knowledge base for that crop production is already well established for this region. Sunflowers would be considered a new crop for the Northeast. Sunflowers do grow well here. They require, uh, they require proper rotation and essentially you only want to grow sunflowers one every four years to make sure that you have low disease and insect pressure. Sunflower yields can yield as high as uh, 4,000 pounds per acre, but we've also seen yields below 1,000 pounds in fields that aren't properly rotated. Sunflowers have a high oil content of 40% or greater depending on the variety. When selecting a variety to be grown in the Northeast, the primary consideration is to grow a variety that, has, that fits within the growing season of the Northeast, which means that you should select an early to medium maturing sunflower variety. Uh, sunflowers require a full growing season. They're planted in the beginning to the middle of May when the soil temperature reaches approximately 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit and are harvested generally at the end of September and into November depending on the, the weather in the fall season. Sunflowers can be planted with a corn planter. However, the corn planter should be modified to make sure that the oblong shaped seeds of the sunflowers can properly feed through your corn planter. This may require the addition of sunflower fingers or other types of modifications to enable, uh, to enable you to, to obtain a proper stand of sunflowers after planting. Sunflower seeds should be planted at about 30 to 32,000 seeds per acre. The goal is to have a final population of between 24 and 28,000 plants per acre. This will ensure that you obtain, will help you obtain the highest yields possible. Canola is another oilseed crop that can be grown in this region. Canola can be planted in the fall or in the spring. Fall seeded canola uh, for the Northeast really should be seeded uh, mid, mid August through the first part of September. It requires approximately six weeks uh, of growth before the first frost. The primary consideration when selecting a winter canola variety for your area is to make sure that, ha that there's documentation of winter survivability of that variety or other varieties in your area. And that information should be found through your university system or through appropriate seed companies. Winter canola seed should be planted between five and eight pounds per acre and is generally seeded with a common grain drill in seven, six to seven and a half inch rows. Winter canola is then harvested the next season in early to late July. And we have seen yields uh, through the University of Vermont extension trials that range between 1,500 and 4,800 pounds of seed per acre. Spring canola should be seeded in mid-April to end of April. Essentially, as soon as you can get on the soil, you should be trying to plant your spring canola. Uh, spring canola varieties with early to medium maturing maturity should be selected for this region. 
spring canola is planted again at five to eight pounds of seed per acre and is planted with a common grain drill. Spring canola is then harvested into the first part of August through mid to late August. Ultimately, oil yields of any crop will depend on the yield of seed that you obtain from that field. The higher oil seed yield, the more oil you'll be producing per acre. But in general, most seed contains approximately 35 to just above 40% oil. What we've seen in the University of Vermont Extension Research Trials is an average 74 gallons of oil per acre yield for both canola and sunflower. The primary pests that we've observed in sunflower for diseases are downy mildew, powdery mildew, rust issues, as well as a disease called white mold. White mold is probably the most threatening disease of sunflower as well as the other oilseed crops. White mold is sclerotinium sclerotium, which is a fungus um, that can produce fungal bodies that will remain in the soil for six to 10 years. Once you have sclerotinia issues in your field, um, it's very hard to get rid of the disease. That's why we promote rotating oilseed crops on a very regular basis. You really should not be growing sunflowers or canola more than one year in every four years. Insect pests can be an issue in oilseed crops. The primary insect pest that we've seen in sunflower is the banded sunflower moth, which arrives conveniently right around the time of blossom in July. And the banded sunflower moth will lay eggs. The eggs will hatch and the small larvae will burrow into the seed and empty out the seed. And what happens is ultimately you end up with significantly, significantly reduced seed yields at the end of the season. One of the means to um, getting rid of the banded sunflower moth or reducing its pressure is to um, either plant early or plant later in the season, which poses other risks, but that's one mean to reducing banded sunflower moth. Another mean to eliminating the insect would be through insecticidal sprays. The other issue that we've had with sunflowers in the Northeast is birds. Birds essentially will feed on the seed in both the canola and the sunflower when it's ripe. It is very difficult to control birds in oilseed crops especially at a farm size scale. On a small scale, you could potentially use um, noise makers and other bird deterrents to try to reduce the pressure. However, after some time, most birds become wise to the sounds and still get out into your sunflower fields and your canola fields. Bird damage occurs on all sizes and scales, but however, if you're only producing an acre of sunflowers and the birds eat an acre of sunflowers, then you've lost your entire crop. So what we've heard from many farmers is that you have to plant some for the birds and some for yourself. There are other products that are new on the market, such as uh, Avapel, which is again a bird deterrent that would be sprayed on the heads of the sunflowers. However, research is still being conducted for the approval of that material. Oilseed production can have a significant economic value to many farmers in the Northeast. Not only can the oil seed be harvested and the oil removed and converted into biodiesel, which has a value, or sold for culinary purposes, but the meal itself can be used as a high value fertilizer, as a high protein livestock feed, and it also could be pelletized and burnt in a pellet stove as a fuel source. Lastly, at least with canola, the canola stalks can be chopped and also used as a bedding for livestock. Stay tuned for our next video on uses for meal, such as animal feed and weed suppression.